All right, welcome to 2.12 solving equation. Okay, many of you are already on track to like you have some vague like you know correct idea about it, but uh, we're talking about fine tuning it. Okay, about te uh, technicalities. So steps are provided for you. What's wrong with this? Get it together, Doc Cam. All right, um, let's do it. Step one: combine like terms if possible and move all the terms with desired variable to one side of the equation. So I'll be looking at it. Your gut should say distribute. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. And y'all, please distribute carefully. Okay? So if this was negative, y'all saw some funky things happening with the signs. Okay? So I'm going to do 38 plus 24. All right? Now, I'm going to move all the terms with A to one side. So I actually personally prefer putting the variables uh, to the left side. So I'm going to actually just divvy up the equal sign and subtract 38 on both sides. And you guys, I, I'm going to actually take some shortcuts. Oh, bug it. That's not what I wanted to do. Add 11 on both sides. Okay. So I'm moving all the numbers, the terms without variable to one side, and then all the terms with the variable on the other side. Okay, listen, if you want to take it step by step, that is totally cool with me, okay? So this cancels out, negative 30 plus negative 5, negative 35A, watch out the sign, cancels out, I got 35, now I must divide both sides by negative 35, so then A is equal to negative 1, done. All right, B plus mosey, um, okay, ooh, don't like the fraction already. Okay, many people are haters of fraction, but that's okay. I'm going to take it piece by piece. First and foremost, I see this thing hanging by itself. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and just simplify the left side by adding one on both sides. Oh, you know what, you guys, here, number two, I forgot to follow through with the steps. So technically, after you here, right, you read it as negative times negative 35 and yields me that. So to undo it, you work backwards. So how do you undo? Multiplying by negative 35, you divide by negative 35, okay? All right, let's go on to this one. Okay, so then I'm gonna bring it, and then you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and distribute again. So 5x minus 15 over two is equal to 15. Now, what did I say about this whole number? What is actually the denominator of this whole number? Is 1. Okay? So whenever you see a whole number, you know the denominator is 1. 1, 1, 1. Okay? Alright? So now we have a fraction equal to another fraction. So this is when you do cross multiply and set it equal to each other. So 2 times 15 equals 1 times anything is itself. I'm going to carry it over here, I'm running out of space. 30 is equal to 5x minus 15. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and read the operation done in the order. So again, I'm looking at the x. What's happening? PEMDAS. No parentheses, no exponent. Multiplication, I see it. So I first multiply by 5, and then I subtract 15. right? And then I got this thing. So I go backwards. So how do I undo that? I add 15 first. So this is why I actually made you guys read the operation. 45 equals 5x. How do I undo this? I divide both sides by 5. So then x is equal to 9. Done. All right. Example 2. So um, I, I actually notice often scholars, excuse me, scholars struggle with literal equation because we're dealing with letters. Yo, treat it like numbers. Everything we learned so far is still applicable. I'm solving for A. So I'm going to go ahead and check out that A. And I'm going to read the operation done to A. Okay? So again, immediately I see multiplication. I multiply by C. It's A okay. It's C. Okay, don't matter. Multiply by C. And then I subtract B. So now to solve for A, I go backwards undoing each of these operations. So first, I gotta add B on both sides. Bam. Sorry for fuzziness. Okay, bear with me. I mean, you have your notes. What the heck? Okay, so 
then G plus B. Yo, they not like terms. So just write it out. And I got C A. How do I undo multiplication by C? You divide both sides by C. Again, these are, I cannot simplify it, okay, because they're not numbers. We don't know if they like terms or not. They're not like terms, facts, okay, because they're different variables. So you leave it like that. And then my A is G plus B over C. All right, let's do this one. Yo, I'm going to use actually pause the video and try it on your own. For real. Okay, I'm reading the operation done. I see multiplication immediately. I'm solving for A. So you multiply by K. And then you divide by B. That's what I did. So I got to go backwards, undoing each of it. So first, I'm up. How do you undo this? You multiply both sides by B. So then I got BU. Throwback, BU. And then, and then I multiply both sides by B. So then B cancel out. So I got AK on this side. Right? How do you undo? Times by K. You divide both sides by K. So then K is cancelled out, so then A is equal to BU over K. Done. 